Good evening, YouTube. Hi. Anyways, BC Orchid Chick here. BC Orchid Chick here. Anyways, I want to talk about Catalea's BLC. My BLC. Catalea BLC. Sounds like BLT. Anyways, I want to talk about my collection of Catalea's and how I do it because I'm a Vanda and I live in BC and it's kind of chilly here so anyways here we go so sorry about the like really light kind of funky wet lighting but um, these are my BLCs so this one is my Ancini Gina Peggy San Getty. Now this guy is like really cool. It's like here's the leaves. Let me turn around this way. You can see kind of what's going on. So the leaves kind of go like this and this. How I take care of it is um, the requirements are light, bright filtered light. So south window. Shaded window, obviously, that's where these curtains come into handy. So they're like a sheer curtain, and it just kind of like filters it. Kind of filters the light and kind of helps it. And yeah, and then I have the blinds like that for like my fowls up there and a Miltasa dendrobiums. I call them my dwarf dendrobiums. My big ones I have in my big windows over there. But um, that one is a east facing window. But here's my BLC. Now I have a bifold leaf, which is really weird. So these leaves are like really kind of sharp on the edges. And yeah, they're so different. Um, now, my all-time favorites, um, I have pictures up of the Laura Brush First Lady Catalea BLC. The blooms were, like, huge and gorgeous. Oh, my God. And I just repotted it with a very thick bark. Obviously, lots of air holes. No sphagnum moss. And try to clean it up. I'm like a terrible water so I try and kind of clean this up because water gets trapped in it and then it starts mold and they soften up but somewhat is pretty healthy it just had a bloom and I just trimmed it so that's an empty sheath now and the blooms were like so gorgeous I love it this one, I will have to say, is my all-time favorite. But temperature, air movement, humidity, and watering are the, the main requirements. And then feeding. They love to be feeding. And, of course, they're potty mix. So cl clean them up as much as you can. You know, I try to clean the other one up. And then... This one, I call it my, like, whacked out. This is like the clown. It's called a Chinese beauty, <laughs> BLC. But it's like the clown leaf of it. I don't know. Why is it doing that? Why did it grow like that? Or why it did that? I have no idea. But I love it. And I love it anyways. Catlias are never perfect. They kind of just, like, grow the way they want to grow. And I thought maybe it was the light, and it was just like growing towards light, but no, I was wrong. <laughs> so, for the Catlia, the humidity, I just have, of course, the gravel tray with the rocks and a tiny bit of water, never touching the water to the pot. Some oncidiums and like moisture loving ones, I let the water touch, but in this case, I don't. And then, of course, the shaded window, the temperature. If you have all those things, a healthy Catalea will bloom. No problem for you. 
I always like so scared, but my Catalaya Jungle. So my BLCs I have with the Vanda, which is a high life, high loving. My Dendrobium Rollings. Like the flowers got gigantic compared to, look at that. Gigantic. And then, of course, this pot. I'm going to be drilling some holes in it. My husband, I thought, get him to help me. But I thought this would be a perfect pot for the Catalea that's growing. So push it all the way to the back. And then it still has room. And they're like cute. This is lime green. I know it's very hard to tell. But yeah. One Catalea that I will do a video about. That is like super, super unique. Is this little guy here. This is my Catalea ceiling with a new buddy. But this is a Catalea Intermedia rock candy self. So the only thing is, it's so cool. The leaves are like really thick. Like, like a succulent. They're so cool. Like super thick compared to... Yeah, you see that? And compared to like these are super thick, but yeah, these aren't. Anyways, I want to say thanks for watching. I hope you learned about those fun facts about Catalea's and how to clean them up a little bit. Just kind of take these sheets off, repot them. When the media looks dry, obviously, I do a lifting thing, wet it. I always give it two days of being dry. I am a lazy water. <laughs> uh, and sometimes I forget, but you know what? They are very thankful. I'm very happy, but anyways, don't forget to like and subscribe, and have a good night. Bye.